Hey everyone, I'm in the studio and today I'm going to mount some little collages onto some wood panels. So I thought I'd share that with you. My name is Lali Mail. I'm a mixed media artist from France and I love to share my tips from the studio with you. So let's get started. So here I have three little collages at different stages. They are made on watercolor paper and I have flattened this one and the other ones under some heavy books and I have a larger one right over here. So these little ones I'm going to mount onto some small wood panels like these. And then I'm going to float frame these into more panels like this. For my larger one, I'm going to do something slightly different and I'm going to glue my collage onto a piece of foam core board that I will then glue into my frame. So this is what the frames look like when you buy them. And then I have painted them with some milk paint and distressed them a little bit with some rough sandpaper. And I have also given a coat of milk paint to those little uh, wooden substrates that I'm going to glue my collages onto. I'm also going to need some little hooks to screw at the back to make them easy to hang. I'm going to need some glue, so you could use wood glue, super heavy, matte gel medium, or this kind of, of glue that's called, in English, I think it's no more nails. So it's also acrylic, water-based, solvent-free, but it's much thicker, and so it's really handy to glue these little substrates. Now, when I add the screws at the back, I'm going to make sure to screw through the little wood panel, so it's going to be extra secure. I'm also going to need some parchment paper or some reusable baking sheets like these because I'm going to glue my little collages onto my panels first and then I'm going to press them under some heavy books. And so this is to prevent the little artworks from sticking to my books or my table. To glue them, I'm going to need a flat brush. I also like to have a smaller one, which is handy to add some glue to the corners because sometimes it's hard to get the corners to stick really flat, especially if your collage is a little bit textured like this. A palette knife can come in handy as well. A screwdriver to add my little hooks at the back. And here I have some large clips that can help secure the, the edges while the collages are drying. So this is really optional, but I had these around the studio and I find that it really helps. Okay, let's start with the little ones. So I have some at different stages. So you don't have to wait with me while they dry. And this one is almost finished. It only needs the little hook at the back. This one is only mounted onto the panel. And so I will need to add it to the frame. And with this one, we're starting from scratch. So let's start with this one. I'm going to take my little panel here that I have painted. Oh, and you might need a rag and maybe some water just in case you get some extra glue sticking out of the of the panel. For now, I'm going to use some matte gel medium. You could use the super heavy kind. You could use the regular kind. Here at this stage, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to put it face down here and add my glue at the back. What I like with the super heavy gel is that it's thicker, so it dries faster. I'm making sure to add my glue here all the way to the corners and the edges. And I'm going to add some to my panel as well. So of course I have cut my substrates the right size for my panels when I started making those little artworks. Here we are. I'm going to stick it. And you see sometimes the edges, they want to curl up. So that's where my clamps come really handy. What I'm going to do first is really press down. If you have a little brayer, you can use that. It can help. I'm checking the edges and the corners. So of course this is a collage, but you can do this with any little painting on watercolor paper. It will work just great. 
can see that it's not really well centered. I'm going to try and correct that while I can. Here we are. Now this part here is not sticking super well, so that's where I can use my clamp while it dries. I'm going to place my parchment paper over the face of my artwork. This edge here is the one that's not sticking really well, so I'm going to do this one first. I may not need to do them all. I think we're good. The clamps are really optional. If you just press your artwork under some very heavy books or a big bag of rice or something like that, something very heavy, it's going to work anyway. Okay, I'm going to put this one aside to dry and then we'll move on to the next step. So this little one here is dry, so I can glue it into my frame. I can take a moment to see which way I want it because my frame is a little bit distressed also inside. I think this way is good. So what I'm going to do here is I'm not going to measure anything, especially because here my edges are not regular at all. So I'm really going to eyeball it. If you want to measure it, you absolutely can. It's really up to you. So what I'm going to do here is use my really heavy glue here. You could use the super heavy gel medium that would work as well. You would need to put a lot of it, I think, just to be super secure. And here I'm not going to spread it. I'm just going to do some dots, four of them, not too close to the edges and the corners because I don't want the glue to sip out into my frame. Maybe an extra one in the center. Here we are. And I'm going to place it in my frame and I'm going to take my time so that I can really center it. So I'm not pushing for now. I'm just letting it land lightly into my frame. And then I'm going to check the spacing at the top, at the bottom and on the edges, making sure it's straight and even. And I think we're good. And now I can push and I can even use my parchment paper again. Really push down and it's going to move slightly as I push. So I'm going to need to check the spacing again afterwards. All right. So this one, again, I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to place something heavy on top. And here, because this is lower than the edges, I need to put something like a bag of rice in the middle. I could now place another book on top, a very heavy one, that would help. And I'm going to put this one aside too. And now the last step, once it's all nice and dry in this little frame, is to add a hook at the back just to be able to hang it to the wall. Now here I'm going to need to measure a little bit just to make sure that my screws don't stick out here, but that they are really embedded into both panels. They will go through here and through this wooden panel as well. This way it will be extra secure. So here I'm aiming for four centimeters. That's one and a half inches. So I'm going to flip this over, make sure the top is around here. And I'm going to measure four centimeters. And here I'm going to find the middle of my panel. And I'm going to grab one of my little hooks. I'm going to center it here over my line. I'm going to mark the middle of each hole. Here we are. All right, and now all I need to do is screw it in place. My panel is very thick, so I can use screws that have a good length. It's going to be different from my other panel that has the foam core board because it's much thinner. But for now, I can use these. I'm going to place it where it needs to go. And I'm going to hammer it in place a little bit to help it stay straight as I screw. And I'm going to take my little screwdriver. And here we go. I'm not screwing it all the way. It's still a little loose. I will tighten it at the end. And let's do the other one. Here we are, and now I can tighten them both. And that's it. It's super easy, and this way it will hang really flush to the wall. Now I'll have to do the same steps with my other little collages once they're dry. And now we can move on to the larger one. 
Okay, so for this one, I have my wooden frame, a piece of foam core board that's not very thick. That's all I had in the studio. And I like to reuse things as much as I can. And I have my collage here. It's also done on watercolor paper, but it has a fabric backing that I added to have those nice frayed edges. Now there are different options here. I could glue this to the back of my artwork and then glue this inside and then add my little hook. But the thing is that this is very thin and this, the back of the panel is very thin as well. So I'm not sure exactly if my screws are going to stick out and I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk, even if these are the smallest I have got, I don't want to risk them going through the artwork, of course. So I'm going to place them first and then we'll see. This one fills almost all of the frame, so I don't need to measure from the top like I did before. Let's find the middle here. Maybe, maybe I'll place it a little lower, six centimeters. So it's a little over two and a half inches. Okay, so that's my middle. Now I'm going to take this one, which has smaller holes, which is going to be better for my small screws. I'm going to place it over my line, center it, and then mark the placement of the screws. And let's screw them in place. And when I flip this over, we're going to see them sticking out on the other side. Here they are. So now what I'm going to do is test things out with my foam core board. I'm going to place it and I'm going to push and see if they stick out on the other side or if we are fine. And it seems we are. Yes. So it's not going to stick into my artwork, which is really good news. So I'm going to center this because here it's not centered. And I'm going to add some glue at the back just like I did before. So I'm adding a few dots. And just like before, I'm going to eyeball it and not press it just yet. Okay, I think we're good. So now I'm going to press and I can feel the little screws going through the foam core board, the first layers of it. It might stick out just a little bit here, but that's okay. I'm going to really press to make sure they stick out so they don't damage the, the artwork later on. Okay, I think we're good. We're centered. There is no glue seeping out of my substrate. So what I'm going to do here very simply is add a piece of paper right over my screws, something a little thick that's going to protect the artwork. I have some leftover watercolor paper from when I cut my substrates, so that's going to be perfect. Let's add some of my heavy gel medium. So of course I could use some foam core board that's thicker or a wood panel to fit inside, but sometimes it's really good to work with what you've got and reuse things. So you can always find some DIY solutions to make it work. Now I'm going to put this aside to dry slightly and I'm going to add some gel medium here. My brush here is a little wet because I let it sit into the water, but uh, it's fine because this is fabric. This is very porous, so I don't mind if it's a little wet. And I'm going to add some of my gel medium again. I don't need to go all the way to the edges this time because I want to keep them nice and soft. I don't want them to get all stiff with the glue. There's a little bit of thread here sticking out because I stitched through my artwork, so I can cover that up with glue. Okay, I've added a good amount because I want to make sure that it sticks to the surface because it's kind of bumpy, so I need a good layer of glue. Now let's grab my substrate. I could also add glue to the substrate, especially here over my watercolor paper. And here I can go all the way to the edges. Here we are, and I'm going to place my artwork on top.
and again I'm going to eyeball it because here I have something that's really sticking out and I don't want it to be crushed against the edge so I'm going to lift this slightly towards the top here we are I'm going to place some parchment paper or a baking sheet on top so that I can really push I'm being very careful because this is very delicate I have a a really small and, and thin dried twig here. I'm being very careful. I'm going to let it dry with something heavy on top again with my baking sheet here. I have a stash of magazines here that are just the right size. And as it turns out, this is my studio here. Here we are nice and heavy. Let's add a few more. And I'm going to leave it to dry and then we'll be done. See you in a moment. And here they are, all nice and framed and ready to hang. I have signed them at the back and here on the side, added my little hooks to each and every one of them. And I have to tell you, it makes such a difference to have them framed like that. I hope you have enjoyed this process and I cannot wait to see you in the studio again soon. Bye.